Guys, it is not looking good for Dr. Fauci. Probably the worst 24 hours of his life right now. Dr. Fauci is scrambling to save his legacy, scrambling certainly to save his own tail. He is being called into investigations. You have Jim Jordan saying you must send him to the house. Send him for me to interrogate. You have Rand Paul saying he lied to Congress. Perjury, it's illegal to lie to Congress. And Dr. Fauci needs to face consequences. Then you have Tucker, who is saying, wow, guys, we should maybe consider the fact that he's already the subject of a criminal probe based on the redactions of the leaked emails. You've seen this, Fauci's emails all over the place, proving that he is a duplicitous liar and that he absolutely obscured the truth from the American public in order to protect his own ass and to protect his own institutions. And certainly, at the very least, he was incompetent when it came to uh, funding of the Wuhan Virology Laboratory, but at the very most, he was actually lying to Congress about it and knew that gain-of-function research was going on. We'll see. Hopefully, Republicans will have the brass to investigate. Let's hope so. Jim Jordan and Rand Paul leading the charge here. But what this video is about is Donald Trump, who just seconds ago released a statement. That's why my hair is still wet from a uh, shower going out for a uh, for a lunch right now. Anyway, what do we have here? Donald Trump drops a statement from the sky, a nuclear bomb directly onto Fauci, and I'm going to read it for you right now. Statement from Donald J. Trump, 45th President of the United States of America. After seeing the emails, our country is so fortunate. I did not do what Dr. Fauci wanted me to do. For instance, I closed our borders to China very early despite not wanting them closed, despite his not wanting them closed. The his is Dr. Fauci. The Democrats and the fake news media even called me a xenophobe in the end. We saw that this was a life-saving decision. And likewise, the closing of our borders to Europe, specifically certainly heavy, ha certain heavily infected countries. I was later given credit for it by Tony for saving hundreds of thousands of lives. Dr. Fauci also didn't put an emphasis on speed of the vaccine production because he thought it would take three, four, or maybe five years to create probably because Fauci wanted the panic to go on for that long because it gave him power. I got it done in less than nine months at Operation Warp Speed. Absolutely correct. Trump deserves all of the credit. In retrospect, the vaccine is saving the world. Then I placed the greatest bet in history. We ordered billions of dollars worth of vaccines before we even knew it worked. Had this not been done, our wonderful vaccines would not be administered until October of this year. No one would have had the shot and that is now saved the millions of lives over around the world. Also, Dr. Fauci, totally against masks, when even I thought it might at least be helpful, and then he changed his mind completely and became a radical masker. The end of the quote here. There are lots of questions that must be answered by Dr. Fauci. The funding of Wuhan by the U.S. was foolishly started by the Obama administration in 2014, but ended under Trump. When I heard about it, I said, no way. What did Dr. Fauci know about gain-of-function research, and when did he know it? That's the end of the quote. That's the end of what Trump says about Dr. Fauci. Holy moly, is that a barn burner? It leads the president to say essentially like, hey guys, time for you to investigate. We'll see what they do.